Welcome back, sports gamers. Just a natural. Want to give you guys a breakdown of the Madden NFL trailer gameplay trailer that just dropped. Uh, I'm gonna go through with you guys. Um, have played a ton of the beta, so can give you actual feedback and hands-on from what they're showing in the trailer versus what actually is happening on the field and what's kind of like marketing speed and what's actually legit. So let's kind of get right into it. With the goal of giving players more control over the games they play, we built a new foundation for gameplay in Madden 23. So this is Connor Dugan, in case you guys didn't know, uh, actually a really great guy, uh, was on the NBA Live team um, and came over to Madden team uh, a little while ago. He's been with, working with the Madden team for a while now. Um, and that's why people were saying like, oh, how do you know NBA Live is done and all stuff like that? It's like, uh, because when all the developers, for the most part, are moving over to a whole other game, yeah, pretty much that game is finished. So uh, him moving over to the Madden team is, uh, you know, like a lot of times we have sources of things that we know and a lot of times you can just put two and two together. Uh, so yeah, uh, so he's... he's um, you know, he's a, he's a quality developer, uh, and he's been helping out the band team for a bit now. And we're calling Field Sense. So Field Sense, yeah, already made a video New on that. New physics-informed animation and animation branching technology provide the foundation for consistent, more realistic gameplay designed to produce a variety of... So you can see, you know, the um, can animations, the mocap animations, but um, with the new technology, or it's not new, but they kind of introduced this... Um, I think two years ago with the motion branching or motion matching technology would allow players to branch and, and add, pick, choose the right animation that looks the best in that situation based upon the physics of the interaction. So um, this is kind of like a hybrid way of not pure physics, but also using physics to choose the best animation so it'll look, uh, look the best. Authentic results on every play. Field sense affects gameplay in every mode. It comes to life in Madden 23 in four major ways through new control mechanics that we're calling hit everything, skill-based passing. So the skill-based passing is huge. Uh, hit everything, it seems cool. Um, it's more of like uh, something that, I don't know, like I haven't seen it used a ton. Of, I mean, I have seen plays where it's like a gang tackle and you could come up and, and it, but it's not, to me, it's not a huge impact on gameplay. The skill-based passing, that passing system is huge, big, big. I think that's the biggest change gameplay-wise, uh, Man 23. 360 cuts and wide receiver versus DB battles. Uh, the wide receiver versus DB battles, um, I, I think it's a good addition, but I think it's kind of almost more for the people who like in franchise mode when they're like, like to become the wide receiver or become the DB. Um, but as far as like so far and head to head that I've had, um, I haven't seen like some drastic difference where it was like this major game changing thing, um, but definitely is an improvement for sure. In Madden 22, you could predict the outcome of a play based on the animation that was triggered. Thanks to Field Sense, in Madden 23, we can dynamically branch out of tackling, catching, and blocking interactions so you can change the outcome until the play is over. Yeah, that, that's definitely, they're not as canned because of that, that branching technology, because of that motion matching technology they have. You don't see, you'll see the same animations, but they can be changed in a way, like you can impact that. They're not locked into, like you get sucked into a tackle and it's like you know the exact animation that's gonna happen. You know, we all know the same ones where they would grab a ball carry and, and swing them around. It's that same animation over and over. And you can see that on different plays. This is more, it's more natural. They've added more additional animations and they interact differently in different ways like that. We've captured over 3,500 new animations covering an array of different interactions. When we say that Field Sense gives you the control to hit everything on defense, we mean everything. Essentially, this new defensive gameplay approach gives you more ways to make stops from every position on every play. Yeah, defense has definitely improved um, from uh, the, the hit everything as well as the zone coverages. Uh, yeah, defense is much better this year. With hit everything, you can hit the pile and generally cause mayhem anywhere on the field in pursuit of the ball. And since all of the action is driven by physics, you'll see different outcomes depending on the players involved. As a linebacker... Yeah, like I was saying before, it's still animation-based, but they're using physics to dictate which animation. So it's they finally, to me found that hybrid because people say, oh, I want pure fake. They don't they don't know what they're talking about. Pure like that's why backbreaker is not around anymore. 
pure physics games with no animations at all would look terrible. It wouldn't look like football you see on Sunday. They would do un unrealistic things would happen that you would never see in real life. You know, go look at some of the backbreaker clips. You will see things that done in, done in that game or clips of backbreaker. Sometimes it will look fantastic. Don't get me wrong, but so many times you would see ragdoll things. I'll be like, oh, that I've never seen an NFL field. So, and then, now, Madden's animations, you would see too many of the same things over and over and over in a predictable way, which wasn't good either. Like to me, this is like the best of both worlds, where it's like you have animations that are can, but they can be changed, they can be uh, updated, they can be done differently based upon physics of how they how players interact with each other. You can swiftly so like invade blockers or blow up blocks in pursuit of the quarterback. And with the addition of the new mid-air tackling system, it'll change the way our players defend the passing game. In the NFL, there's no one way to defend the pass. Sometimes DBs play the ball, and some situations demand that you get physical and play the receiver. With Field Sense, Madden 23 brings all that action to life putting you in control yeah like i said the passing system where you can lead players and the thing uh, and this is and the first thing you think about is target passing right this is definitely much different than target passing where they tried to reinvent the wheel with that this is what we're already kind of doing but um so you don't have to really relearn anything unless you start getting into the settings and kind of change some of the settings on it then it can get a little bit different um but this way it's how I always I play this anyway. This I always led my players in that fashion, but now they give you more control to really lead players and throw into uh, holes and zones and everything more. Force midair knockouts at the point of the catch, lay a big hit on a receiver to force a drop, or push a receiver out of bounds before he can get his feet down. Hit yeah, it. I've seen a lot more of that for sure doing that. Everything also introduces a new stand-up tackle mechanic that gives you the ability to control the result of two-man tackles. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just not a fan of tack. This is like the old tackle battles. Uh, I, I've got a prop for it a couple times for sure, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, that's what, let me know what you guys think on that one. I've never been a fan of the button match and tackle battle thing, uh, but I guess some people might like that. A defender can hold up the ball carrier in an effort to buy time for a teammate to move in and make a play on the ball. Or the ball carrier can break the tackle to gain extra yards. Yeah, for me, I will always, I know they're trying to add some skill to the button pressing or whatever, I guess. But to me, I would rather have the the tackler's um, ratings versus the ball carrier's running skills or ability or juke or break tackle, like, more realistic. Because I would hate, I got a 99 tackle, you know, I don't know, Von Miller or somebody like that hitting a 60 overall running back. And because I didn't hit the button fast enough, he runs me over, breaks the tackle, goes on the sideline, like... I, I don't, I'm just not a big fan of that. I would rather just the, the, the ratings of the players dictate. All so of this creates a more that. authentic gameplay environment where you're actually playing to the very end of every... There's a lot more fumbles. A lot more fumbles in the gameplay. And I, I'm playing all Madden. I'm playing all Madden head-to-head -head versus CPU. I'm somebody who does not fumble often. I'm a very careful. I get down. I cover the ball. I get out of bounds. I've fumbled more <laughs> than probably any Madden so far. So um, maybe I need to just, I don't know, cover the ball more than I have been, usually had to, but I've definitely got laid out. And, and it wasn't just like for no reason, but I mean, I got laid out. But this year, you definitely cough it up if you, you hit the right, you know, hit right the same way, hit in the right way. Replay. We felt that in Madden 22, while you had some control over ball placement, too much of the outcome was left up to the game and not the player. With skill-based passing in Madden 23, you've got the control to put the ball exactly where you want, just like Patrick Mahomes. With this new mechanic... Yeah, I've been working on that. Um, I'm still trying to master it. Of course, we're going to put out some uh, tips for that around this, uh, all the new systems uh, in the game once the game drops. Um, but I, I really... I've only been playing with good quarterbacks. I haven't seen how this translates to a crappy quarterback. I need to get a, a bad quarterback. I've had Russell Wilson, Pat Mahomes. All the guys I've used so far have been top quarterbacks. So I can't see how the new system, because I'm trying to learn the system. Uh, I can't see how it works with a terrible quarterback. I'll have to see and, and kind of report back on that one, um, how things are a little bit different. But uh, so far, you definitely can put the ball where you want it if you know how to use it. We're revamping our pass leading from the ground up to enable throws that you just couldn't make in the game before. With just a left thumbstick, you've got the control to put the ball exactly where you want. This gives you the freedom and creativity to really change up the passing game. Yeah, that's what I was working on, throwing a bunch of posts uh, last night. Uh, you can get it in there, um, but the only thing is like really interesting that 
you really have to be careful because you can lead too far and lead to the safety. So definitely some timing that's necessary and some, you know, lab and practice to get this, uh, get it down. You can drop throws into tight windows. You can place the ball away from the defensive back and take shots downfield with accurate back shoulder passes and end zone corner fades to the pylon. You can place the ball on a corner route or drop it in on a deep vertical route, all with the same rate. Yeah, see, I don't know what level they're playing on, but for me, like, See, I play on all Madden, and them the, the, that pass rush was hollering. And there were not too many plays where I had all this space or here. Like, almost every time I was letting the ball go, it was somebody that broke free from them, man. They were hitting me. This might be Sim. I don't know if it's on all pro or not, but I play all Madden, and that pass rush was coming. All with the same risk and reward of elite NFL. Which I like. Please do not nerf the pass rush, EA. If you are watching this, and I know you probably will, do not nerf the pass rush. Make people learn their their reads. Make people make the right reads. Make people be more conservative offense so they're not dropping back, throwing the ball 50 times a game. Like make them like make them play real football. Because every year the pass rush is, is pretty good. And then people complain because they want to score 60 points a game and you dial it back. And you and it always nerf the defense. Please do not touch the pass rush. Please do not nerf the defense. QBs. Skill based passing is a game changer for all skill levels. Yeah. In Madden yeah. 22, running the ball using the left stick lacked total control. At times, players would get gradual banking turns versus sticking a foot in the ground and making a hard cut, leading yeah. to situations where you just couldn't make a play and pick up those extra yards. The new 360 cut mechanic in Madden 23 lets you utilize L2 and the left stick for more freedom when controlling the ball carrier. Now you can precisely hit the gaps as you see them. From yeah, I'm still mastering this, but it's definitely more fun. And I, I, I agree. Um, it's you more control. And to be, to be honest, I haven't run a ton, just a little bit. I've really been trying to work on the, the, the new passing game. Um, but yeah, it definitely feels more fun. Uh, definitely control the running backs. Any position, whether you're a running back, a quarterback on the run, a receiver a after a catch, or if you're returning a kickoff or interception. Oh my gosh, so many more kickoff returns. 360 cut. Like crazy more. Like I've had like three kickoff returns already, and I might have had that in a, a month's time last offer year. offer total control. A in lot face of the franchise, you can play out your NFL career at one of five different positions, including wide receiver and defensive back. And while the new 1v1 battles are available in every mode, this is where it really comes to life. Yeah, that's new what I was saying earlier. Like, the 1v1, I've noticed it in head-to-head -head and versus computer, but I think it's really made for when people control the wide receiver and um, in, like, franchise mode. And their Catching receiver footwork delivers more control in battling with DBs. We've added a whole new suite of wide receiver release moves and open field cuts that empower players to create separation from the secondary. With these new open field cut moves, you now have the ability to get creative and fake out the DB. To counter, DBs have new press mechanics so you can battle on both sides of the ball. How you position yourself as a DB is going to influence your ability to lock up a receiver off the line. It's interesting to see if people like start using DBs for like outside DBs. Or even I already I, I use a lot of DBs, uh, the, like the slot nickel slot. But uh, I'm interested to see if people are going to start using some of these mechanics on the outside receiver. We built this year's outside game to line. empower players yeah. in a number of ways. We're just getting started with a new foundation for gameplay through field sense in Madden 23. All right, so yeah, that is it. Um, yeah, it's good so far, but. Again, this is just the beta, so I don't know what changes that are coming. They did say already there were some things, issues in the beta that they are working on. I know um, one of the things was that uh, not to nerf the pass rush completely, but there were some um, lower level guys who weren't that rated that was still applying too much pressure, which they might uh, work on leveling that out and balancing that out. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually this... At the last year, that was a bit of a letdown for me. Probably one of the worst Madden years. Did not love the game last year. That's why I did not play a lot. Did not put a lot on the channel. But so far in the beta, I'm actually liking the game. Like, no cap, like, at all. I'm actually enjoying it. It's not, again, it's not a brand new game. I've said this year after year. If you don't like Madden, you're, they're not gonna make a brand new game from scratch, right? So they're building upon and improving things that's already there. If you hate Madden's gameplay, you'll probably never like Madden. Like some people prefer 2K style gameplay over Madden. You're always gonna like 2K. 
Some might prefer, some folks prefer NBA Live gameplay over 2K. And they're never going to like 2K because they like NBA Live and vice versa. That's fine. So if you hate Madden, if you're going to play this and go, oh, it's just like blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah, it's not, they're not going to reinvent the, reinvent the wheel from the, the ground up. Just like a car manufacturer or anything else, they're going to build upon what the previous year was. Is this a better game already than last year? Definitely, to me, hands down. I didn't like last year, though, so <laughs> it's not saying much. But there's actually defense in this game. Last year, the defense was horrible. But the zones play much better. The pass rush is way better. Um, you know, how you can, with the tackling and all that, I think it's great. So, um, I'm, I have high hopes for the game this year. Um, I, I'm excited to get more hands on and get more breakdown things like for you guys. So let me know your thoughts. The folks that have played the beta, let me know your thoughts in the conversation. Plus folks that haven't played the beta, let me know your thoughts on how you feel about what you see so far from Madden 23. If you appreciate our content and all the work we do to bring you guys the latest news, tips, and gameplay from your favorite sports games, drop a like, subscribe to SGO today. You want to take your game to the next level? Then join SGO Insider.